Um, and last thing, all right, so now let's quickly talk about Cushing's and that dexamethasone test that people keep getting confused, right? Confused with, yeah. All right, so when it comes to Cushing's, right? When it comes to Cushing's, what do you know about that disease? Uh, well, the what do we have? We have moon face. Moon face, right? We have the buffalo hump. Buffalo humps. We have uh, the central obesity with the blue. Sure. Stria. So big boy. Yeah. Big boy, stria, right? Hyperglycemia. Basically all things oh, yeah. that are associated with too much what? Cortisol. Cortisol, exactly. Too much cortisol. All right. So that's the main issue. He has way too much cortisol. At the very least, it looks like he has too much cortisol when he arrives on day one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this guy arrives, he looks like he has Cushing's. What should be one of the first things that you do? Make sure um, the cortisol or the ACTH level. Well, you would want to first measure the cortisol levels. Cortisol. So what do you do is you do a 24 hour, your analysis, urinary your study. Analysis. Yeah. 24-hour urinary study just to get a baseline because, you know, you know what happens is some students have asked me, well, why not at the moment, right? Why not check cortisol mm -hmm. at the moment? Uh -huh. Why? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, there is the thing, the, the white coat syndrome. When white coat syndrome. When the yeah. patient, the doctor just get nervous and cortisol level will increase in that moment. Of so course. It will be a resource. Right. Yeah, you see, it's one thing. It's one thing to be at, in the hospital from the point of view of a doctor, a nurse, an employee. That's mm -hmm. okay. No problem. But I don't ever want to be a patient. No, you see? Either. That's very stressful. Yeah. So that being said, you can't just take it at the moment. So you got to get a baseline over 24 hours to see. Now, if the baseline is indeed high, then we know for sure they have Cushing's. Cushing's. Yeah. Okay. So now, now that it's high, What's the first thing that you do? Uh, you follow the time. steps. Mm -hmm. um, the tamethasone suppression test. Very nice. So let me, do, let me do this over here. Let me put this over here. Okay. So the first thing you do when your patient comes in with Cushing's, you want to check 24-hour urine. Exactly. All right. Now, they come in. It's definitely high. Then you do, what was that again? Say it one more time. Dexamethasone. That's right. That's right. So you're going to give them low dose dex. Low dose dex. Low dose dexamethasone. What does low dose dexamethasone, or what should it do? If I give you dexamethasone, what should happen? Can you explain that to me? Well, if you give me dexamethasone, my um, endogenous cortisol will be suppressed. That's right. Because remember, we have our ACTH yeah. that comes from the pituitary gland, mm -hmm. and therefore it releases cortisol from the adrenals, mm -hmm. and then cortisol should come back up and, and inhibit this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what happens is by giving the low-dose dexamethasone, you're actually stimulating this access further to therefore decrease the ACTH, hopefully, and cortisol. Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if low dose suppresses, then what would happen, right? If there is suppression with low dose? Well, if there's suppression with low dose, it uh, can be one of three things. Mm -hmm. What comes to mind? Uh, like obese patient. So maybe he's obese. Sure. Uh, like a really stressed patient. Really stressed or out. Depression. Or depressed, which is kind of stressful, right? Mm -hmm. So, but not necessarily diseased per se. So, this would actually be like just this is like a normal, your normal stressed out patient, right? Okay. Treatment, calm, calm down, buddy. That's what I would probably say. No, of course you can't say that, but of course the idea is it's they're very stressed. They're very stressed, so they might call it just this might just be some normal, right? If we're looking at the okay. bell curve, it might just be all, you know one of the uh, um, off on off to the off of the extremities. Of the extremes, okay. I'm sorry, yeah. So, if it suppresses, this is basically like a normal patient. You tell them, you know, you live a very stressful life. Probably want to, you know, calm down, things of that nature. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, 
what if there is no suppression though? Well, if there's no suppression with low dose, you have to uh, do a high dose. That's right. So you move on to step three. If there is no suppression, then you bump it up to the high dose. So now we got high dose dex. Now, high dose dex is going to hyper stimulate this one. This is really going to put extra, extra, extra emphasis and really say, all right, you got to stop. That's yeah. high dose dex. Okay. So in doing so, in doing so, if there is suppression with high dose, mm -hmm. what are you thinking? What comes to mind? Fix that. Uh, well, if I give you the trimethasone in high dose and mm -hmm. it's suppressed, mm -hmm. I mean, in the, the, um, what is causing the disease, is it has to come from the pituitary. Exactly. So if there's suppression, most likely going to be? Like a pituitary, pituitary adenoma. Exactly. Adenoma. Pituitary adenoma. In which case, you probably might want to do an MRI or mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. A head just MRI. To yeah, just to visualize to see if it's true. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, good, good. Now, that is if there is suppression. Right. But what if I gave them all this dexamethasone and yet still nothing, no suppression. The guy still looks like he has Cushing's. What is going on? So now what do you do? I already gave him all, this, all the dexamethasone I could. Then uh, we have to, to measure the ACTH because that's right. the one that's causing the problem. Well, that's the thing, though. But ACTH, we just ruled it out. Or did we? Ah, can you explain that? We just ruled out ACTH co coming from the pituitary adenoma. Uh, it can come from other places. Oh, interesting. You mean ectopic? Yes. Oh, nice. So then we're going to measure our ACTH levels. Right? So mm -hmm. let's say it's high. What would that be? What would that be associated with? Where is it coming from? Uh, it can come from the from the lung. From the blood. lungs, very nice. Give you a little bit more specific. Uh, like um, like in small cell lung cancer. That's okay. right. That's right. Small cell, not squamous. Oh, small, small cell lung cancer, exactly. So we can have ACTH being released mm -hmm. from a small cell lung cancer in the lung. Squamous cell will release PTHRP. P -P -P. Yes small cell lung cancer. Therefore, chances are they're going to mention that the patient was a heavy smoker, probably to mm -hmm. hint that it's going to be smoking or at least smoke related. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, let's see here. What else was I going to say in regards to this? Let's see. ACTH is high. I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. And yeah, you want to do a chest x-ray. There it is. I knew it was yeah. going to come back. Chest x-ray. So you want to do a chest x-ray just to you know, make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, visualize. All right, now what if ACTH was low? You say, interesting. So I gave you all of this dexamethasone. I gave you this. All the, uh, I checked your ACTH levels. It's very low, and yet cortisol is still very high. Where is it coming from? Oh, it can come uh, from the adrenal? Exactly, from the adrenal gland. So an adrenal tumor, Actually, let me make it a little bit bigger here. Yeah, an adrenal tumor releasing too much cortisol. Cortisol. Yep. All right, let's do something like this. Releasing way too much cortisol. Do you know from which layer in the adrenal gland? From uh, the uh, fasciculata. Fasciculata, exactly. Very nice. So it'll be a... A tumor of the fasciculata releasing a whole bunch of cortisol. Now, some students say, well, I don't understand why uh, ACTH is high when I give the dexamethasone tests, et cetera, right? The thing mm -hmm. is, dexamethasone, how I have it understood, dexamethasone only recognizes, oh, where is it? It only recognizes this axis right here. Dexamethasone yeah. only knows how to recognize this. The physiologic one. Yeah. So if you're telling me that ACTH is coming from the outside of this circle, to come in and stimulate this, dexamethasone doesn't know what's going on. Like, I don't know who that is. Exactly. Okay. You see? That's why. That's why it's a little different. So, all right.
and that's how you play with uh, the dexamethasone suppression test. Now, what they'll do is that they'll they might mention we gave them low dose, or they might even, they might not even say that. They'll they'll probably even start off with high dose. They might mention we started off with high dose, and there was there was or was not suppression. What should you do next? So you just okay. move on to the next step. That's it. If they already if they already did step three, you move to step four. If they did step two, you move to step three. Step three. Okay, that's how you do that. Perfect. All right. Thank and you. And that's Perfect. Cushing's. All right, you got it.